I'm so sorry, y'all, but there'll be some pictures and videos to entertain you so you won't notice it at all. Thank you. What's up, YouTube? What's cool? What's cool? What's happening? So, the world never freezes to amaze me. I saw, I was just scrolling through Instagram and I follow this page called Influences in the Wild. Now, you need to follow them. I mean, the stuff on there is crazy. So, basically, now what people are doing is protesting for clout. Now, I like taking my pictures here and there. I like my picture being taken. I like being a little bit of a model and being out and being shameless. But this ain't the time, okay? Some serious stuff is going on. We're asking for justice for Floyd. We're asking for police brutality to stop. And you got people out here who think this is the best moment to take amazing pictures of themselves protesting or seemingly helping out to those that are burdened right now. It is disappointing as much as it is frustrating, as much as it is weird. It is just plain weird. So this one says, I knew it would happen eventually. Is making her boyfriend take a picture of her in front of a Smash T-Mobile. <gasps> oh my God. But what was the point of that? For what? To show that you're observing the wreckage. Like what? what's the purpose of such a picture? Who, we are the ones making these people cloud chase in this manner. They know that they can get the cloud because they've been getting it for so many years. Who and who and who is liking any of these pictures? That's what I want to know. Because if I saw that on my feed, I would scroll right on by. Maybe that's why I don't follow a lot of people anyway, so I don't have to deal with any nonsense. You might want to try it and do a digital, digital spring slash summer cleaning and just clear out your whole entire digital life. Especially now that a lot of people have shown their true colors, it's way easier to just be like, a friend, you want a friend? After all, you full of noises, you full of crap, the ideology is a whack, deuces. But anyway, I suggest you do that because if this type of people are on your feed, man, you need to reevaluate something in your life. This chick stopped a guy from actually working and asked to borrow his drill so she could pretend to help. It was on the news and everything, child. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Boyfriends on Instagram. Good job, guys. I have one question and one question only. Why did that guy give up his drill? You know, people are losing their jobs right about now. Why would you give up your drill? That is maybe most likely probably not your own, but even if it is, to a complete stranger for them to walk off and run away with that they can sell it on eBay or wherever or ruin it for you. There's all these challenges. Haven't you seen those challenges where people would like have the selfie stick in front of a river and like these kids that thought they were funny and wanted to go viral on YouTube would just smash the whole selfie stick into the river and be like, ha 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 ha. And sometimes it'd be like, oh, I'll get you a new phone. That's not the point, bro. But anything to go viral. In the same way, these people could take that drill and be like, let's just ruin it. Let's just smash it. Let's just do something like that, right? And then what a crazy person you look like. As well as... Like whenever you see people with a camera and they're asking weird questions that nobody would ever ask, just be wary because some of these people, they ain't right, man. They ain't right. Like you gotta be, be careful. You gotta be careful that you're not gonna be part of any kind of, uh, what do you call this thing? Some cloud chasing challenge or whatever. So I think this is very, very strange. But also the lack of shame, I am confused. This one says, stop treating the protests like Coachella. I guess people are really missing that Coachella didn't happen this year. Y'all need to get a life. Get a life. There's more to life than Coachella. I'm not just saying this because I'm salty and I haven't been yet. But like, if that's all you're ever thinking about, if that's the highlight of your entire year, yeah. <laughs> now fun. Anyway, let's check this out. Oh no, look at her. Uh -huh. That's crazy. How do you even feel comfortable? Like people are properly dressed, first of all, she must be cold. But how do you feel comfortable just standing there like that, knowing that it's a protest, knowing that it's a serious matter, and you're just out there, dressed like that, posing. Like, I, you could have even done this in normal clothing and it wouldn't have been maybe such a big deal, but the fact that she went all out and really dressed like she's going to Coachella, it's, it's, it's maddening. And then they got people taking these pictures as well, like, I, I don't know. People must be really bored. White privilege is feeling like it's okay to jump for joy for a picture in front of a military vehicle in the middle of a protest addressing a centuries-old human rights crisis. <laughs> They're way too 
uncomfortable jumping up and down just no respect and no knowledge of what this whole cause is about what black lives matter is about what all these protesters that are doing what 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 it's all about people are actually literally risking their lives going to these protests because in case you didn't know we're still living in coro times so then i just check i don't even know what to say about her she really thinks she's doing something Remember George Floyd, remember Ahmaud Arbery, remember Breonna Taylor, remember Trayvon Martin. Forget about these two. My sentiment exactly about all these people. I mean, for what and for why. Then you got this law. Oh, look at this boy. Step one, go to protest. Step two, find actual protester. Step three, take a picture with said protester. Step four, leave. Step five, post to Instagram. Useless, Lord have mercy. And then it's like, off to sea what the picture looks like, like it's a regular Tuesday. Like, what the heck? Waste man. We are the ones making these people famous. That's why I don't follow other people on Instagram, like I said before. This is crazy. This, the world is going crazy. It just goes to show that some people will never be too interested in the cause, never be interested in seriousness. Some people always want to make a joke out of something. Some people always want to trivialize something. Some people always want to benefit from something or benefit from people's pain mm, yeah man but you know if you don't take this serious i don't take you serious either so it's not really a big deal i'm not gonna go on and on about it i just want you to know that people are uh using uh, protests for clout on their social media these are protest clout chasers and i guess that's another profession since some people are not working right about now so y'all need jesus y'all need some jesus y'all need to do something better with your life because this ain't it. In any case, big time. Floor is like, it's time to start. What? 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 Let me write. And I'll see you in the next one, which will be very soon. If you're not part of the family, make sure you hit the thumbs up as well as the subscribe button. Comment because I want to know what you think. Like because you obviously like this video. And once you're at it, hit the notification bell. I'll see you in the next one. God bless. Since nothing is working today, I'm gonna just bop the outro song myself.